everyone. I am here for presenting something in front of you. This is a group presentation and we are come from Jeffrey International University. <coughs> so you can see here my group members. First Raju Talukdar and it's me. Then Asifur Rahman. Then the third one is Maruf Islam. Fourth one is Dilrubar Umaisa. And fifth and the last one is Poshan Shutradar. <coughs> Our presentation topic is application of discrete mathematics in software engineering. Okay, now we can start. First of all, we need to know why discrete mathematics is needed. Discrete mathematics is needed because software use discrete mathematics to represent and manipulate data. Software engineering is not about just programming, computer or software. Software engineering is about problem solving. Problem solving is all about mathematics. Mathematics is the heart of problem solving. Like if we need to, uh, if you want to define problem, <coughs> we need to mathematical rigor. Then data analysis, data structure algorithm require a solid knowledge of mathematics. <coughs> We need to justify why a particular way of solving a problem is correct or efficient by using mathematical conditions. So hope all of you can understand why discrete mathematics is needed. <coughs> if you understand, then we can move the next step. <coughs> Here you can see the application of certain discrete mathematics. We have calculus, logic, and proofs, induction and regression, discrete structure, discrete probability, graph, tree relation, set proposition, etc. <coughs> then we can start unit one set and proposition. First, come to the use of set and proposition. This help a software engineer to develop the ability to think absolutely. This means learning to use logically valid form of argument and avoid common logical errors. Then relation and function we use. So we can go that relation and function. Here you can see the relation and function and so you can saw the three graphs We use this in databases of a software. It all about relation We know one-to-one -one relationship one-to-many relationship and many-to-many -many relationship And the first graph represents the one-to-one -one relationship and the second graph is represent one-to-many relationship and the third graph is represent many to many relationship <coughs> this basic concept come from relation and function now we can move the next step unit 3 groups and rings problem in this field often arise a problem that is easily started in blowing uh, involving counting disability or some other basis arithmetic operation so we can go the next step unit 4 graph theory here comes from the most valuable part this is the most valuable part it, uh, it's graph you know in software engineering, everything is graph, th graph theory <coughs> can be used in social network, communication network, information network, software design, transportation network, biological network, and so on. Then we come for unit 5, the topic is 3. We want to discuss about 3 you need to know the uses of tree the uses is to manipulate hierarchical data make information easy to search manipulate sorted list of data router algorithm 
and so on. Last but not the least topic are formulation combinations and discrete probability. We software engineers are so much close to these three topics. Here was the application of discrete mathematics. Everyone, I hope everyone can understand why discrete mathematics is needed. Uh, why discrete mathematics is needed? So we can end our presentation. And thank you everyone for cooperating with us.